today. A closer eye on the state fair. Last night, officials closed down early in part because of a fight among some teenagers. Our Jason Beisel talked to authorities about what happened and how they plan to handle security at this very popular annual event. Hundreds enjoyed the state fair throughout the day on Friday, but late into the night. Good time. They went by our place. Disrespected folks. Some say things turned chaotic. This is the Midway area, and this is where we had some fights out last night. A man working one of the game booths didn't want to be identified, but shot this video on his cell phone of one of the fights. You can see a large group of teenagers gathered around yelling at each other. Many of these rides have fences that the kids were jumping last night, and uh, those individuals were ejected last night. Fair officials tell me they were already thinking about closing down early because of the rainy weather. Then, when these fights broke out, we decided it was in the best interest of our fairgoers to close a little bit early. Twelve young people were arrested. Deputies say not all the arrests were due to the incidents. We're looking for groups of kids that are gathering or individuals that are gathering in case they're trying to start trouble with either the vendors or the uh, other people visiting the fair. Lieutenant Frank LaSalt with the Sheriff's Office walked us around and showed us what deputies look for as they patrol. We start seeing individuals form up into a group. We'll address the group, make our presence known. We also utilize uh, there's undercover personnel out here dressed in plain clothes, blending in with the fair uh, that we use as spotters to find pockets of trouble. Fair officials stress safety of fairgoers is their number one priority. They will continue working closely with the Sheriff's Office to make sure nothing like this happens during the event that runs until the 17th. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.